Transcription shortcuts let you define shortcut keys to use during transcription to insert blocks of text you will use repeatedly. One common use for this is to define key combinations that represent text identifying each speaker in a transcript. This screencast will demonstrate how to do this. The first step in this process is to define the shortcuts you want to use. Let's say, for example, we want to transcribe the U.S. presidential debates from 2008. The election that year was between Barack Obama and John McCain, and debates were moderated by Jim Lehrer, Tom Brokaw, and Bob Schieffer. To define our transcription shortcuts, we start in Transana's configuration options. On Windows, we go to the Options menu and choose Program Settings, while on Mac OS, we go to the Transana menu and choose Preferences. From there, we select the Transcription Shortcuts tab. At this point, we define key combinations to associate with text for each shortcut. We select the modifier and key we want to use and type in the text that it should produce. For our first shortcut, we will define Shift F1 as Obama. As you can see, there are a variety of modifiers that we can pick from, and we'll use Shift. We can choose from any of the 12 function keys, so we'll select the F1 key. We will now type in the text that we want to associate with the key combination, the name of the first candidate, followed by a colon and a special key combination that will let Transana know to insert a tab character. When everything is the way we want it, we'll press the Add button to add this shortcut to our list. Now let's define transcription shortcuts for Senator McCain and the debate moderators. The text you type in can be up to 250 characters long, including spaces, allowing you to create shortcuts for words and phrases that come up repeatedly in your data. Now press OK to save the changes. When you are editing a transcript or document, simply press the modifier and key combination that you defined and your text will be inserted at the correct position. I'll press Shift F4. It's that simple. Your transcription shortcuts are universal within your database, so you can use them in other documents and transcripts without having to define them again. If you would like a listing of your transcript shortcuts for reference, display, or printing, go to the Shortcut Definitions tab and press the Copy to Clipboard button. Then open a word processing document or an editable document in Transana and paste the information into the document. You may want to define tab stops and edit the document before printing.